Last month, I released the demo of my game called The Faceless Killer. The game consists of three chapters. The demo was the first chapter. I spent the last month working on chapter two. We control a different character in this chapter, a guy who's going on a vacation in Canada with his son. We start on this plane. It's nothing special, I made some cool volumetric light effects as the moonlight shines through these windows. I downloaded a bunch of 3D character assets for these passengers. Most of them don't want to talk to me. It's just like real life. We also have Mikhail here from the Minds of Balan singing the Soviet anthem. And if we come here, we see our son, Dan, already sitting there, so we sit down in the other seat. Then we have some small talk, then they talk about how the kid's mother died. I don't know, I never talk to humans, it surely works this way. But then, boom, he suddenly transforms into a crazy old man. Just the usual stuff. Okay, he doesn't transform into an old man, it's just a vision of the player. The guy we see is Father Carlson, he's mentioned in chapter 1 if you remember. Then we snap back to reality, and we switch to arriving at a hotel's reception. Our son has a somewhat good-looking walking animation. He also has a mustache for some reason, which is actually just a shadow, because I can't do good lighting in Godot. So, we walk to the receptionist, who's the same model as the one on the airplane, so I just made them canonically the same person. Yeah, there are not enough free human models available. She gives us this key which we can store in our inventory. Then we go to this corridor where we have to find our room. We use the key to open the door, and inside, we see the subscribe button, which you should press if you enjoy this content, and don't forget to wishlist the game Steam, and I also have a Patreon where you can get early access to videos. So, we have this room with these dirty bedsheets, our son immediately goes to sleep, and we can explore a few objects. Like this book here, or we have this walkie-talkie, which the killer uses to spy on us, but we don't know that yet. We also have this empty toolbox, which will be important later. After a few hours of sleep, we go to this mountain to ski with our son. Look at this snow particle effect I've made, completely alone. Yeah, these are just white cubes falling from the sky, I don't know shit about particles. I also have these lamps here. I just put a free light bulb asset on top of a stick. We have some time to explore the area, but there's nothing to explore yet, so let's ski down the mountain. It's basically like Steep by Ubisoft. The skiing physics are so realistic, you could call this game a skiing simulator. But, we'll never be able to play it, because we step on a landmine and we explode. Well, shit. We wake up in this dungeon and see Carlson again. But as we find out, it's just a dream. After some dialogue in this awesome looking red volumetric light, we wake up in this hospital, which is not ready yet, it's just a few white walls. Yeah, I didn't do many things in this month, I might take a break from the project, I'm kinda of burning out. Now I'm focused on learning C++ and other languages, then maybe some embedded programming with Arduino. Next video will come hopefully sooner than this one. Bye!